After taking down the reigning champions in their home opener, this video breaks down the Miami Heat's championship winning formula. While Milwaukee didn't have Holiday, Lopez, and Portis, the revamped Heat won by a stunning 42 points. Tyler Harrow is going to be the Heat's breakout player, acting as the perfect second-slash-third scoring option next to Jimmy Butler. Considering P.J. Tucker's wing defense and three-point shooting, combined with he and Lowry's title-winning experience, there's legitimate reason to hop on the Heat bandwagon. From Harrow lighting it up, to Bam Bam's crucial value and flurry of unknown yet highly productive role players, the Heat have a real shot at winning their franchise's fourth NBA title. Before continuing, only 27.9% of you watching right now are subscribed, so if you're not in that percentage, please subscribe. Also leave a thumbs up, it takes a few seconds and makes a massive difference. Again, let's be fair to the Milwaukee Bucks. They were missing both of their centers, along with one of the league's most underrated players, Drew Holiday. However, the reigning champs still had Giannis and Middleton. PJ Tucker helped hold Milwaukee's two top players to a combined 8 of 25 from the field. This was a statement win for the Miami Heat, and just a smidge of revenge for last year's conference quarterfinals. Milwaukee swept the Heat in 2021, a year before that, Miami beat the Bucks in five. This has truly become one of, if not the NBA's most heated team rivalry. Jack Harlow's homeboy Tyler Harrow seems like he's ready to bounce back from an inconsistent sophomore campaign. Miami's offense was perfectly flowing and Harrow was the beneficiary of the Heat's floor spacing. He was catching and shooting after receiving a handoff slash pin down. He was saucing up his matchup with dribble combos, finding seams in the defense, and making plays. Also, end-to-end -end drives like this from Boy Wonder flash glimpses of stardom. While Bam can get it done inside and occasionally from the mid-range, Jimmy Butler's been the only elite perimeter shot creator on the Heat for many years now. That's why Tyler Harrow's progression this year into a player that can create deep-range buckets is so important. Lowry should be able to create shots at times, but at his age and stature, come the postseason, Lowry needs to be the number three scoring option. That was how Toronto won the title in 2019, with Kawhi and Siakam ahead of Lowry in scoring. Luckily for fans in South Beach, Harrow's aware of the pressure that's on him this year, and he's setting high expectations for himself. Just over a week ago, Harrow said he believes he's on the same level as players like Luka Doncic, Trey Young, and John ja Morant. And while that seems like a bit of a stretch right now, as this season progresses, I believe NBA fans across the world are going to start realizing what Harrow was alluding to with that statement. I'm predicting Harrow continues to go off and utterly thrive in Miami's revamped offense. Before the game, P.J. Tucker was asked if there'd be extra motivation for him in facing the Bucks on opening night, to which he replied, I mean, come on, we're competitors. I was a part of that. To not be back? For sure. You know, it's like natural human behavior. Definitely. I want to win this game better than I want to win any other game. Yes, I'd be lying to you if I didn't tell you that. And Tucker lived up to that quote as he was competing last night like it was game seven of the finals. PJ was a plus 31, which was the highest plus minus of any player, while his old partners on the wing were a combined minus 51. If that doesn't prove to you how much of an impact PJ had on the 2021 championship, then nothing will. PJ started his NBA career way back in 2006 with Toronto. He then spent time in the G League, Israel, Ukraine, Greece, Italy, Puerto Rico, and Germany before finally returning to the NBA in 2012. Since his return to the league with the Suns, Raptors, Rockets, Bucks, and now Heat, PJ slowly built himself up into debatably the NBA's best defender. Tucker can guard positions one through five with his length, lateral quickness, and muscle. Jimmy Butler became a five-time all-defensive team player and has been holding down the opposing team's best player night in, night out ever since he got to South Beach. The PJ Tucker edition gives Mr. Buckets a bit of a break on the defensive end and preserves Jimmy's energy for bucket getting. It's scary that the Heat absolutely destroyed the defending champions, even with their most prized free agency acquisition in Kyle Lowry, shooting just one for eight from the field and scoring just five points. The Heat's role players were how they were able to withstand Lowry's disappointing debut. Three-point snipers in Duncan Robinson and Max Struess 
a physical stretch big in Markeith Morris, along with no-nonsense backups in PG Gabe Vincent and center Dwayne Dedman, round out the players in Miami's rotation, but that doesn't come close to telling the full story in terms of Miami's depth. Cody Martin was acquired from the Hornets as perimeter insurance. KZ Akpala still has some untapped potential, but the most intriguing heat garbage time player is the big man, Omar Yutsurvin. From fundamentally sound fades and hooks, Omar has a polished post repertoire. But overall for this Heat team, their championship formula for 2022 is the fact that they have a boatload of new impact players around Jimmy Butler. Lowry's going to be the two-way floor general that takes this team to the next level with his leadership. PJ Tucker is going to provide the hard-nosed effort that it takes to go all the way. Harrow's going to reach new heights, and the flurry of solid role players up and down the roster gives one of our game's top two-way players in Jimmy B, and one of the most versatile big men in our game, Bam Bam, all the support they need. The one and only thing that could stop their chances from being a championship contender come the playoffs is health. If they make it through the 82-game grind in one piece, this has title number four for Pat Riley in Miami written all over it. Let me know your thoughts on the heat down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed. This was D-Flow, and I'll see you next video.